Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can solve this particular equation without applying Lambert W function. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. Alright, let's get started. If you could remember, this is exactly the problem I solved last week. But after going through the comment box, I realized this equation can be solved without using Lambert W function. All right, first of all, I would like to take x to the other side. So to the left hand side, we have uh, 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 11 minus x, right? As x crosses over. And next, I would like to divide both sides by 3 to the power of x. 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x is 1. And this is equal to 11 minus x divided by 3 to the power of x. And you know, according to one of the laws of indices, we can take this 3 to the power of x to the top. But the exponent will become negative. So this is 1 equal to um, 11 uh, minus x, right? Multiplied by 3 to the power of negative x. This is 11 minus x. This is negative x. I want to see this exponent exactly as 11 minus x. And we can do that by multiplying this 3 to the power of negative x by 3 to the power of 11, according to one of the laws of indices. And we have to multiply the left-hand side by 3 to the power of 11 as well to make the equation balance. So 1 times 3 to the power of 11 is 3 to the power of 11. And this is equal to 11 minus x raised to the power of, okay, multiplied by 3 to the power of negative x multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. So having the same basis, we can add the exponent since we are multiplying. So this 3 to the power of 11 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 9. Same basis, 2 plus 9 is 11. This is equal to 11 minus x multiplied by 3 to the power of negative x plus 11 is 11 minus x. This 3 can be expressed as e to the natural log of 3 because e will cancel natural log of x eventually we have 3 back. So instead of this 3 we are going to replace it with the whole of e to the natural log of uh, 3. Now we can do the same thing for this as well. So this 3 to the power of 2 is 9 multiplied by e to the natural log of 3 to the power of 9, right? This is 3 to the power of 9, which is this one. So e will cancel natural log of natural log and we eventually have 3 to the power of 9 back. So we have not altered anything yet. This is 11 minus x uh, e to the natural log of 3 to the power of 11 minus x. Let me continue here. All right, you know that this power can drop here to multiply. So we have 9 e to the 9 ln 3. So we have just dropped 9 down here. And this is equal to uh, 11 minus x raised to the power of, okay, multiply by e to the uh, also, this 11 minus x can drop down to multiply according to one of the laws of logarithm. So this is 11 minus x times natural log of 3. Just observe, this is almost exact as like this. The only difference is this natural log of 3. So if we want to make this and this to be the same, we can multiply this by natural log of 3. And we have to do on both sides. So... Uh, natural log of 3 multiplied by this will be 9 natural log of 3 e to the 9 natural log of 3. This is equal to um, this times natural log of 3. We have um, 11 minus x times natural log of 3, right? Then times e to the 11 minus x multiplied by natural log of 3. Just observe something. We have E here at the center. Both the coefficient and exponent are exactly the same. 
the same thing here this and this are exactly the same so they are mirror image of each other and hence we can say that this is equal to this or that equal to that or in every situation you have to get the same solution or if you like you can apply lambda w function here because it stated that if uh, you have a function of the form a e to the e a function like this once you apply lambda w function on this it will turn out to be equal to e so apply lambda w function here we have this or that if you do that here you have this or that so i don't even have to apply lambda w function this implies that 9 times natural log of 3 must be equal to 11 minus x times natural log of 3. Natural log of 3 cancel natural log of 3 by dividing both sides by natural log of 3, which implies that 9 is equal to 11 minus x. All right. x come here, it becomes positive. 9 goes to the other side, it becomes negative 9 as well. Then x equal to two as simple as that if you like you can confirm the value of x in the main equation so if x is two three to the power of two is nine plus x is two and this is 11 which implies that x equal to two is the valid solution thank you for watching do share to your and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos Bye bye